Praise the Lord, back here with Pastor G, part 8 of Who Am I in Christ? Truth, you can't handle the truth, but we're going to take a look at it anyway. Praise the Lord that you see the truth about Jesus' identification in the Bible, so that you will know who you are in Christ. Hallelujah. He is the child. Isaiah 9, verse 6. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. Hallelujah. Luke 2, verses 27 and 43. And he came in the Spirit into the temple. And when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him according to the custom of the law, and when the feast was ended, as they were returning, the boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem. His parents did not know it. He is the chosen of God. Praise the Lord. First Peter 2, 4. As you come to him, as you come to him, a living stone rejected by men, but in the sight of God, chosen and precious. Praise the Lord. Christ of God. Luke 9, verse 20. Then he said to them, But who do you say that I am? And Peter answered, The Christ of God. Hallelujah. He is Christ, the chosen of God. In Luke 23, 35. And the people stood by, watching. But the ruler scoffed at him, saying, He saved others. Let him save himself. If he is the Christ of God, his chosen one. Amen. Jesus knew he was not going to be able to come down off that cross until he had finished everything. That included giving up his spirit to defeat death. Amen? So awesome. Jesus is identified in the Bible as Christ, the power of God. 1 Corinthians 1.24 But to those who are called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God. Amen? Christ, the wisdom of God. 1 Corinthians 1.24 But to those who are called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God. He is the word of God. He is the wisdom that we seek as Christians, as followers of Christ. He is that wisdom. Amen? Christ, the Son of God. Acts 9.20 And immediately he proclaimed Jesus in the synagogue, saying, He is the Son of God. Hallelujah. Christ, Son of the blessed. Mark 14.61 But he remained silent and made no answer. Again, the high priest asked him, Are you the Christ, the Son of the blessed? Amen. So beautiful. Covenant of the people. Isaiah 42, 6. I am the Lord. I have called you in righteousness. I will take you by the hand and keep you. I will give you as a covenant for the people. A light for nations. Amen. So, so beautiful how Jesus, you know, is our everything. Absolute everything. He is the truth. You know, I, I remember when Pilate was speaking to Jesus just before he sent him off. He asked him, truth. What is truth? Now we see him identified as the deliverer. Romans 11, 26. And in this way, all Israel will be saved. As it is written, the deliverer will come from Zion. He will banish ungodliness from Jacob. Amen. He is the door. John 10, 7. So Jesus again said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, I am the door of the sheep. Praise God. He is the elect. Isaiah 42, 1. The chosen servant. Behold, my servant, whom I uphold, my chosen, in whom my soul delights. I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring forth justice to the nations. Amen. He is the everlasting father. Isaiah 9, 6. Again, for to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. Hallelujah. Awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. Amen. Lord Jesus, identified in the Bible as the everlasting light. Isaiah 60, 20. Your son, as S-U-N, the sun up in the sky, shall no more go down, nor your moon withdraw itself. For the Lord will be your everlasting light, and your days of mourning shall be ended. Praise the Lord. He is faithful and true. Revelation 19, 11. Then I saw heaven opened, and behold, a white horse. The one sitting on it is called faithful and true. And in righteousness, he judges and makes war. He is the faithful witness. Revelation 1, 5. And from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead, and the ruler of kings on earth, to him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood. Amen? So awesome. So very awesome. Keep up with these teachings. Keep up with the truth. Because you can handle the truth. Because it is the written word of God. Amen? He is the first and the last. Revelation 1, 17. 2, 8 and 22, 13. When I saw him, I fell at his feet as though dead. But he laid his right hand on me, saying, Fear not, I am the first and the last. Scripture 2, 8. And to the angel of the church in Smyrna, write the words of the first and the last, who died and came to life. Verse 22, 13. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Praise God.
He is the first begotten, Hebrews 1, 6. And again, when he brings the firstborn into the world, he says, Let all God's angels worship him. Praise the Lord. He is the first begotten of the dead, Revelation 1, 5. And from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead, and the ruler of kings on earth, to him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood. Look that, we are free from our sins by his blood. The book of Revelations even says it, hallelujah. He is the fountain, Zechariah 13, 1. On that day there shall be a fountain open for the house of David and the inhabitants of Jerusalem to cleanse them from sin and uncleanliness, hallelujah. He is the friend of sinners, Matthew eleven nineteen. The son of man came eating and drinking, and they say, look at him, a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Yet wisdom is justified by her deeds. To learn about who Jesus is in the Bible is just absolutely awesome. By now you should be understanding Jesus is all of this. And because of Jesus, I am all of this. Because I am in his body, I am seated with him at the right hand of God. As he is, so am I in this world. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We'll see you back again in part nine.